Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another creature comparison. For the first time, I'm going to be including prehistoric animals in on this comparison. And per the request of Simon J, I'm going to compare the woolly mammoth and the Colombian mammoth. So, pack up your trunk as we look at some prehistoric pachyderms. As always, we start with our similarities. First up, both the woolly mammoth and the Colombian mammoth lived during the late Pleistocene epoch, which lasted from 3.6 million to 11,700 years ago. And like modern day elephants, Females of these species lived in large family herds that were led by the oldest female, or the matriarch, while males lived alone. And they both mainly fed on sedge, grass, and other ground plants, and a mammoth could eat 180 kilograms, or 400 pounds of food per day, and they may have forged for 20 hours a day. Like modern day African elephants, both females and males of these species had tusks made out of ivory, which they used for digging and as weapons. Only difference is, is that with female mammoths, their tusks were more straight, while males had tusks that were more shaped like corkscrews. Now, let's talk about the differences. First up, the Colombian mammoth was much bigger. In fact, it was one of the larger species of mammoths. A fully grown Colombian mammoth stood up to 14 feet, or over 4 meters tall at the shoulder. They were 13 to 15 feet, or 4 to 4.5 meters long and possibly weighed in at a massive 18,000 to 22,000 pounds, or 8,000 to 10,000 kilograms. On the other trunk, a fully grown woolly mammoth was roughly the size of a modern day African elephant. Males reached shoulder heights between 2.7 and 3.4 meters, or 8.9 and 11.2 feet, Eat, and weighed up to 12,000 pounds. Females reached 2.6 and 2.9 meters, or 8.5 to 9.5 feet in shoulder heights, and weighed up to 8,000 pounds. Woolly mammoths also lived farther north than Colombian mammoths. In North America, they lived in Alaska, Canada, and much of the Great Lakes area. By contrast, the Colombian mammoth lived much further south. They lived in a lot of the western states and in southern California, including the La Brea Tar Pits, and in Texas and Florida. Some even lived in Mexico. The woolly mammoth, true to its name, was covered with a thick fur coat to insulate it from the cold of the Ice Age and often shed its winter coat whenever the spring arrived. By contrast, due to the fact that it lived in a somewhat warmer climate, the Colombian mammoth had either less fur or even no fur compared to the fur of a woolly mammoth so the Colombian mammoth looked almost like a larger version of the modern-day Asian elephant. Well, that was it. My creature comparison between the woolly mammoth and the Colombian mammoth. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's return to the safari hat and see what the next creature comparison is going to be, shall we? Alright, let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, the next one is going to be inspired by 
Rudyard Kipling's tale of Ricky Tikki Tavi. Alpha Lion Simba, out.